series on the language Python. We use the language Python in several of my courses, predominantly um, Introduction to Digital Technology and in my Advanced Computer Science Principles class as well. We'll also use it in robotics where we do the uh, embedded programming course at my school as well. So Python is a very powerful uh, language. It is very useful. And we're going to begin and go through the language overview in the same relative order that we did the language C. So in this video, we're going to start with a look at Python itself using the CS50 IDE. And we're going to do a Hello World program. See you when we're done. Welcome to Programming in Python. To begin with, you'll notice I've got a couple files in my directory here. Um, you'll notice that I've also created a Python folder. Um, again, I have some of my uh, test files in a different folder, but we've got three basic uh, files in the directory structure, the first being a template. I, I really encourage using templates, and you'll see here that I have a template for my Python code as well. Typically, uh, you're going to want to do multi-line comments for your headers. And in Python, that can be achieved by using what's called a triple quote, which is a double quotes, three of them. And then to close it, it's three. You can also do this with single quotes. It doesn't really matter. Um, but it, you're going to notice that we have the same basic information in our headers in Python as we did in the language C. Um, all languages have a preprocessor directive section. We saw that in C with our includes. And in Python, we use the word import. Uh, these are three things that you're typically, for this class, going to want to import. And then you're going to see that we have defined our main loop for the program. Okay, Python is a scripting language. And you're going to see a lot of what I consider uh, weaker Python code, where they don't set up a main method. Um, I, I teach this as a proper structured Python. So you should have uh, a main method to your code. Now, when we define main, it doesn't mean that we have called main. And you'll notice I've already got in here the system exit with a zero, which is, again, we're going to return a zero to the operating system if we exit properly. And I've got an if statement here. And I want to explain these, uh, this syntax right here. So if an underscore, underscore, and by the way, this is two underscores before and after each of these words. OK, so that's two uh, underscore characters. Underscore, underscore name is the name of the module as the interpreter executes your code. So what this is saying is if the name of the module that you're executing is main, which is assigned to the beginning module, the, the main module of your code. If that's true, then run the main method. And this is a call to main, which we are defining here. So in this hello world program, uh, when I convert this to my hello program, you're going to see how this works. So first of all, we want to make a hello world, so I'm going to resave. I'm going to do a save as. Okay, and instead of template, I'm going to call this hello. And in Python, we call them .py for Python. So we're going to say hello.py as the name. And again, you'll notice that I get a file hello.py in my structure. And uh, I'm going to change this to say hello and save those changes. And then I'm going to just put a print statement in here. Now, in Python, your indentations are how you make your blocks of code. So what that means is everything that's in main needs to have its occurrence be at the same tab position. You really do not want to use spaces. You want to use tabs, because if you're off by a single space, it's going to crash on you and complain. So use tabs. Use the, you get good at the tab character. So I'm going to tab over. 
And I'm going to do a very basic print statement that says print hello world. Because like I said, we do hello worlds in the beginning of our code. And I really don't need all these blank lines because that's all we're going to do in this program. So here's what happens. The interpreter is going to come in and say, oh, here's comments. I'm going to skip all of those. I'm going to import these libraries. Oh, here I've got the definition of main. So I'm going to store these commands. And then I'm going to keep going. Now, this is, this is executable code outside of anything. So now it's going to say, oh, I have to do this. So if name is main, if name is equal to main, well, this is the main method that I'm running. So that's true. So I'm going to call main. So then it's going to go back up here to main and begin executing. So it should print hello world, and then it should return zero and exit. Okay. So I'm going to create a new terminal to make sure that I have a completely blank, blank screen. And I'm obviously not, because I created a new terminal, I am not in the correct folder. So I'm going to, uh, let's see where I am. I have archives in school, so I need to go to school. Another dad joke for you. CD school. And now that I'm in school, I can CD Python. Okay, and if I do an LS now, I can find hello.py. So in Python, we need to invoke the interpreter. So what that means is we're going to tell the Python interpreter it needs to run, and we're going to pass our program to the interpreter as a command line attribute or, or an input parameter, command line parameter. So we're going to say Python hello.py. And there it is, hello world. So now we have completed a hello world program in Python. You will note that I did not need to put a slash n. I certainly can. I can say slash n, slash n, slash n if I want. Control save. Let's go over here and let's run it again. And you will notice that this time the cursor is three extra lines below my program run. So escape codes still work. Python, by the way, is written in C. And you'll notice that it's a lot easier with print statements because it is assumed that I want a carriage return at the end of a print statement. Now, there's a way we can suppress that carriage return if we want to print it one on one line. And you will see that as we go through the videos. In the Python series, I'm going to show you the printing as we go because this is a little bit more of an advanced language. So we know from our C experience that we've been able to do some of the basics with print. So we're just going to look at printing as we go along. So for now, that is a Hello World program. And on the next one, we're going to look at basic assignments. So uh, we'll see you there. Welcome back. Hope that was a good look at the first program you may have written in Python. Again, it's a really simple language to, to get up and running pretty quick. So in the next video, we're going to talk about basic assignments. See you on the other side.